So the first recorded use of the word quiz actually means odd person, which explains why I'm running this quiz. My name is Sarya Salkar, and I want to welcome each and every one of you to this fun-filled family quiz show called Brain Wagon. Now, Brain Wagon is brought to you in association with Alain Zero Sodium-Free Bottle Drinking Water, Samsung Galaxy Note 9, Danube Home, and of course, the official travel partner is Air Arabia. Brain Wagon consists of three super exciting rounds. The first round is a buzzer round to see which team has their answers on their fingertips. The second one is all about using both your mind and your body in unison. And the third is an audiovisual round in which you really got to sharpen your observation skills. Now time to talk to our Brain Master. So let's welcome our contestants. Let's introduce our first team today. And our first team for today, we have Sharvi, who, when she isn't fighting with her friends or arguing with her mom, Ria, she is eating hummus. Sharvi, I hear you want to be a teacher, yeah? Yeah. Welcome to the show. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Louder, please. Now, we met team A, and now uh, team A and C, your main competition here is this team, because in this team, which is team B, we have someone who likes to win quizzes around the country for fun. So put your hands together for Numan and his wonderful father, Noor. Thank you both so much for being here. <laughs> Who's the quiz king in this gang? He's Me. the quiz king. Wow, you love quizzes. I've heard you've been winning quizzes across the country. Yes. So you, what's your favorite round in a quiz? Uh, my favorite round is uh, actually the audiovisual or even the uh, multiple choice. And now in Team C, we have an aspiring dancer, eight-year-old Zara, and her awesome mom, Sabina, who is a full-time Pilates instructor. So the fitness levels on this show just rose and how. So I just want to know, uh, okay, does, does, does dance, Pilates run in the family? Is this a gymnastic family if I come over? Will I find you guys just like flipping from the roof or cartwheeling around the house? I have another daughter and yes, the three of us, uh, we have this giant mirror in our house, right in our hall. <laughs> and all, yeah, literally we spend all our time in front of that mirror doing these weird ass things with balls and trampolines and yeah, it's good fun. Welcome to the show guys. Give all, all our wonderful contestants a round of applause. We just met our amazing teams and now let's get on the brain wagon. Round one is called Ding That. In this round, I will ask a question and the first team to ding that, which is another way of basically saying hit the buzzer, gets to answer immediately, right? The first team to hit the buzzer gets to answer immediately. Each correct answer gives you 10 points and each incorrect answer gives you a minus five. Da -da -da. But for the rest of us, if you ding that or press the buzzer and don't know the answer, you still get a minus five. So no matter what, we want an answer from you. We want you to make that effort and try. But like every other game, even this game has a few stringent rules. And should we begin round number one? Yes. Are you ready, man? I can't hear you. Yes. Here's your first question. If a concave shape bends outwards, which shape bends inwards? Team C, the answer is? Uh, convex. Convex is the correct answer. All right. If men are from Mars, women are said to be from which planet? Team C, the answer is? Venus. Venus is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hula hoop that. Uh, question number three, name the five vowels. Team C. You know? <laughs> A, E, I, O, U. That is correct. The next question is, what type of feather, beginning with the letter Q... Oh, 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 wait, wait. I'm going to do the question. What type of feather, beginning with the letter Q... Okay, give me the answer. Who pressed it? C pressed it first. And the answer is... What type of feather? Well, that's it. it. Quill. <laughs> quill. 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 So what was the question exactly? The feather. Um, what type of feather starts with the letter Q? 
Q. <laughs> My question was, what type of feather, beginning with the letter Q, did people write with during the Middle Ages? I'm getting concerned that both uh, B and C have uh, been going through my cue cards, man. But that is the correct one. I'm going to have to give it to you. Well done. Thank you, Sanjay. What is the capital of Australia? Team B. Canberra. That is correct. Close the gate. The statement is close the gate. Find the noun. B. Gate. Gate is correct. Muhammad ran a longer distance than Yusuf, but a shorter distance than Hina. Who ran a shorter distance, Yusuf or Hina? Team B. Yusuf. That is correct. What is the name of the substance that gives skin and hair its pigment? Team C. Melanin. Melanin is the correct answer. The next question is, the Snapchat logo has which colors? Team C. Uh, yellow. Uh, yellow and black. Yellow and black is incorrect. The correct answer yellow, is yellow, yellow and, and white. white. Yellow, yellow and white. white. Yeah. Yeah. Yellow and Too white. late, man. <laughs> Too late. Okay, the next question is, which is the first Harry Potter book? Team B. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. That is correct. Well done, guys. Our next question, true or false? North Pole is colder than the South Pole. Team C. False. South Pole is colder? Yes. Have you been there? Have you done Pilates at Red. the South Pole? I'm concerned <laughs> yeah, about Yeah, I've done Pilates there. in the South Pole. All right, all right. That is correct. That is the correct answer. The next question is, electric power is typically measured in what units? Team C. What? That is the correct answer. All right. An activity was planned for 34 art students and 28 math students. What was the total number of students involved? A. 54. 54 is the incorrect answer. 62 is the right answer. The question was, an activity was planned for 34 art students and 28 math students. What was the total number of students involved? Da -da 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 -da. Don't worry, math students. Don't worry. Our next question is, at room temperature, what is the only metal that is in liquid form? Oh. Team B. Mercury. Mercury is the correct answer. Your next question is, a change of the DNA in an organism that results in a new trait is also known as a? Team C. Mutation. That is correct. How many Dalmatians are there in the children's book which was made into a film by Walt Disney? Team B. 101. 101 is the correct answer, guys. Well played! <laughs> It's been a crazy round number one. Round two gets even trickier. But no matter how good or fast the car is, without a brake, it's pretty dangerous. So everybody needs a break, the car, us, and you guys. But when we come back on the other side of the show, round two gets tricky and fun. So don't go anywhere. Come back after a short break only on Brain Wagon. Welcome back, guys. I'm Saris, and you're watching Brain Wagon, brought to you in association with Alain Zero, sodium-free bottle drinking water, Samsung Galaxy Note 9, Danube Home, and the official travel partner is Air Arabia. Now, round one was pretty trippy. Now, let me tell you about round two. In this round, the adult will come up and spin the big wheel, which is over here, and decide a category of questions. And the small wheel is spun by the junior, and that wheel is going to give you an activity. The rules of the game are pretty simple. Are you guys ready for round two? Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. What we're going to do is the highest scorers are Team C. You get to spin the wheel first. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Step forward. Sabina, you decide who goes first. Zara, you want to go first? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> spin that wheel. Da, 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 da. Make a difference. a difference. That's the game you get. It's a great game. That's the activity you guys are going to be doing. I'm going to tell you about that game a bit later. Now let's see how you do with the genres. GK, general knowledge. That's good, man. Keeping it general. Come on, guys. Step forward. All right, all right. Ready, team? Here is your game. Make a Difference is a game in which you will be given a bowl of different colored buttons. The task is to separate five white buttons and five yellow buttons. No more, no less. Not six, not five and a half, 
five exactly. And of course, while doing so, Sabina, you have to answer these questions. Yeah. So you ready for this one? Okay. Ladies, best of luck. Your time starts now. Which is the biggest sea animal? The white whale. The white whale. Okay, that is incorrect. How many days are there in a leap year? Um, how many days are in a, in a leap year? Yeah. Button. Three, oh, good. <laughs> Three, 366. That is brilliant and correct. What is the capital of Japan, Sabina? Uh, Seoul. Seoul is incorrect. The correct answer is Tokyo. What is the freezing point of water? Buttons. Hey, you're doing no work. Oh, I found it. I found it. Zero degrees. That is correct. Which tree is known as the national tree of India? Um, not the oak, the... Oh, gosh. It's going back to its roots. Uh, the, the banyan tree? The banyan tree. What is the chemical formula of water? H2O. Okay, the game is not hold the button. The game is choose... Five, five we yeah. got five. five. Ha. Okay, five, four, three, one. How many colors does the Pakistan flag have? Uh, two, green, white. That is correct. And time up. Woo! All right, give yourselves a round of applause. Relax. We have to now come and check whether you guys have... We had asked you to have how many yellow and how many white? Five white and five yellow. That is correct. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> Zara, handshake, yo. High five. Well done, Sabina. How many of these, honestly, did you did you really... <laughs> One. <laughs> One, which you held on to yeah. for dear life. Well done, guys. Round of applause. Take your seats. <laughs> Noor and Umar, are you ready? Are you both yes. ready? Yes. Team B? Yes. All right, step forward. Are you ready, Noor? <laughs> Film and TV. <sighs> hey, they're just scaring you. you. You watch a lot of films? Not much. Oh, Not okay. much. All right. Uh, let's see how the activity turns up. Spin that. Stack a cup. Brilliant. Step here, gentlemen. Are you ready for the game? Yeah, yes. sure. 10 points for the game, guys. Stack a cup is the name of the game. In front of you are two stacks of cups. The yellow stack and the blue. In the yellow stack, there is one blue cup. And in the blue stack, there is one yellow cup. You have to remove the top cup and add it to the bottom and repeat the action until the odd colored cup comes to the top. So basically, it's about speed. But remember, Noor, you have to answer questions too. You can help him, but the, the answer has to come from you. Me. Okay, three, two, one, go. In which film was the famous prop Bhagwati found? I don't know. You have to give me an answer. Very famous Padmavad. film. Padmavat. Padmavat is incorrect. Who plays the role of Kalindi in Vire the Wedding? Vire the Wedding is Karishma Kapoor. Karishma Kapoor is not in Vire the Wedding. Karina Kapoor. Karina Kapoor, okay. That is correct. What are the names of Anil Kapoor's two daughters? Sonam Kapoor. That is correct. The other daughter, the one from the left in the photograph I sent you. Okay, we're moving on. What was Vidya Balan's profession in the film Tumhari Sulu? Uh, radio jockey. That is correct. Jockey. And you don't have the right to answer. Yeah, radio jockey. Yes. Okay. In the film Three Idiots, the three main leads were Amir Khan, Sharman Joshi and... And you've got five, four, three, two, one. Answer, please. Madhavan. Madhavan is correct. Self-doubt is killing you, Noor. See that? You see that? You got it. All right. Uh, we'll give you the scores for the quiz later. Let's take a look at whether your activity has completed itself or not. As I am colorblind, this yeah, is a green blue. and a red cup. Now no, that's no. blue. It's blue and yellow. You guys have done this activity right. Congratulations, gentlemen. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Okie dokie. It's time for my lovely team A. Are you ready, ladies? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Come. Spin that wheel. Okay, champ. Three, two, one, spin it. Hoop the loop! I love the game. Hoop the loop, my favorite game. And now let's see which genre of questions you guys get. Sports! Sports. Come, 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 let's play. 
Let's do this. What happens here is that in front of you, there is a hoop, and the objective of the game is to run to the hoop, put the hoop around you, and then run back to your teammate and tag them to do the same thing. It's like a relay, it's a hoop relay. You have to repeat this activity 10 times. No more, no less. And Ria, you have to remember, while doing this, you have to answer the questions. Okay. Okay, three, two, one, start. Go. Brian Lara played international cricket for which national side? National side. Brian Lara, Australia. Oh, incorrect. In feet high, how high above the ground is a basketball hoop? Three or ten? Ten. Correct. Which among these is not a sport in the Winter Olympics? Skiing or canoeing? Skiing. That is incorrect. Canoeing is the correct answer. In cricket, how many test matches generally make up an Ashes test series? Five. That is correct. Dhyan Chand is associated with which sport? Hockey or cricket? Hockey. That is correct. Professional bouts of boxing are limited to a maximum of how many rounds? Sorry? Professional Three. Bo that is incorrect. Twelve. Neymar plays football for which country? Come on. Football Your for which country? Five, four, Three, Australia. two, one. Oh. No, Australia is incorrect. The correct answer is Brazil. <laughs> Team A just finished their game. Let's take a look at the scores. But counting the scores is a big task for someone. And given my math skills, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. While I do that, you take a short break. And when we come back, the final round of Brain Wagon. <laughs> Welcome back to Brain Wagon. I'm Saris Saukar and it's the show where you give me answers and we give you points. The show is brought to you in association with Alain Zero, sodium-free bottle drinking water, Samsung Galaxy Note 9, Danube Home and official air travel partner is Air Arabia. Alright guys, at this point in time we had a trippy bunch of rounds. The last round was very tricky, some scored very well and for some it was a little difficult. Here are the scores. Well, this last round is a super interesting one. Everything can change and flip. There are 30 points to be earned. 30 points to be earned. Are you ready for round three? Yes. Yes. Okay, so in this round, observation is everything. This is Air Arabia presents Drag in the Wagon. Each team will select two wagons and we will start with the team with the highest points first. Each wagon has a category of questions behind it related to the destinations that are Air Arabia flights. Okay, so the destinations are flights that Air Arabia goes to. It's a good piece of trivia to keep with you. Every right answer fetches you 15 points and these questions will challenge your auditory and visual skills. Okay, now at this point in time, the team with the highest score is Team C. You get first right of refusal and have the right to choose any two wagons. Top line, middle. Top line middle, and the second one? Uh, bottom line middle. Let's go to team B, second line with 76 points. Bottom line right, and uh, top line left. Which leaves you guys with the other side of the two. Unfortunately, no choice for you guys. But this is a matter of incredible luck. Let's hope everybody gets what they wanted. Could we flip the wagon? Woo! All right, all right, all right. Did everybody get what they wanted? Team C is looking a little troubled. Team C, what did you choose? You got? Unscramble me and, and icon quick math. Yeah, your favorite, I, I see. No? Math. Math, no. not, not favorite. We should have no, switched. no. <laughs> Team B. What the difference and airport codes? Interesting. Happy with that one? Yeah, sure. Okay. And that gives us Team A. With audiometry and true or false. All right, best of luck, everyone. We're going to start with Team A. Team A, it's the audiometry round for you. You're going to hear something. I want you to think about whether it has been sung A in Arabic or in Turkish. Let's have a listen. Arabic or Turkish? Your answer Turkish. is... Unfortunately, that is the incorrect answer. The correct answer was, it was Arabic. It was Arabic. No problem. We've still got 15 more points to earn. We're going to go to Team B. Team B, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Let's see how it goes for you guys. 
May we have your question, please? This airport code is for which place? Remember, it is a place that Air Arabia flies to. Okay, we got it. You ready? Yes. May I have the answer, please? Nairobi. Nairobi is correct. Well done. <laughs> Smarty pants. <laughs> Moving to team C, you get unscramble. Scramble, this word, Ukraine is. Quickly. It's Kiev. Kiev. Yes. Let's take a look at the answer. Kiev. All right. Are you ready, Team A, for your next question? Yes. Okay, yes. best of luck, Team A. Question is, this is the Blue Mosque or the Sultan Ahmed Mosque in Istanbul. This mosque got its name, the Blue Mosque, because it is surrounded by water on all sides. True or false? Guys, the answer is right there. You have very little time left. It's five, four, three, two, one. False. False is the right answer. Congratulations. <laughs> if you look carefully, the dome and the tiles used in the mosque are blue in color, hence uh, the word blue mosque. Congratulations. Good you went with your gut on that. Team B, ready? Yes. OK. We, we noticed. Go for it. Uh, that the, the person in the middle is missing. Yes. And, uh, per, and that person is missing her bag. Okay. Any others? No, that's it. Only All right. Could we have the answers, please? Brilliant. Congratulations, Team B. Well done, gentlemen. Team C, are you ready for this one? Yes. Icon math. There are icons underneath which there are points. Please look at these very carefully. And here is your question. The answer is? Zero. Zero is what you say. Let's see if that's the correct answer. Zero is the correct answer, man. Well done, guys. It's the end of round number three. What a game. I must say, all of you played really, really well. And uh, please give each other a huge round of applause, man. <laughs> High fives all around. And now it's time to find out the final scores of this episode of Brain Wagon. As you all know, the winning team gets two tickets to fly to any Air Arabia destination of their choice. Not only that, but the winning team also gets a beautiful trophy made by me and my grandmother. Uh, it's, a, it's my favorite thing in the world. Wherever you go, you must roam around with it so that other people feel bad. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Not only that, but second and third place, do not be discouraged because you will win and walk away with 1,000 dirhams worth of vouchers from Danube Home, making your home so easy now. So everybody's winning, man. Everybody's winning. Are you all ready for the final scores? Okay, here they are. So here are the final scores. Team A. You earned 15 points in the last round. Well done. Give yourselves a round of applause. You paid off your bad debts of minus five, and you have a grand total of 16 points. Shimmy. Team B, you got both questions correct, which gives you an addition of 30 points and a grand total of 106 points. Team C. You got both questions correct, which gives you a total of 30 points for your last round and a grand total of 125 points. You are our winners! Congratulations! You're going anywhere you want to go! And now, ladies and gentlemen, our grand winners, please approach. Congratulations, round of applause. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. That's me behind the boarding pass. As they travel, you travel too. And we'll catch you on another wonderful episode of Brain Wagon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.